Marlene's Kim from Manager for Film at Larry Davidson. In our daily life, we use a lot of plastic containers such as mineral water bottles, shampoo or body wash bottles. However, you may all wonder how all these plastic containers end up in the environment or how they go through a recycling process if they are sent to a recycling facility. With the world population growing to 8 million, natural resources have come to a limit but the demands for plastic containers keep rising. The plastic waste is piling up in our environment, which drives the need for packaging solutions that enable recycling. A standard label and decoration technology limits the recyclability of plastic content. This is because the remaining adhesive ink and label will contaminate the recycling process. Good news is, Eric Davidson Clean Flake product enables recycling of PET and HDP containers. Clean Flake labels look like just any other precious as it's unique adhesive and show performance throughout the packaging life cycle. In today's session, I'm going to talk about PET recycling. Do stay tuned to our next series on HDP mono material recycling. Now, let me walk you through how clean fat label plays a role during the PET bottle recycling process. It all started with the PET bottles collected and shipped to recycler. The labels are manually removed and the bottles get sorted by color or material. The labels can be removed in several ways. It can be manually peeled off by consumer before disposal or manually peeled off by waste hauler after collection. It can also be manually or mechanically removed at either the waste collection station or during the recycling process. At the recycler, some labels are even removed by friction grinding the bottle surface. The bottles are then crushed into small flakes, which then brought to a costly wash at 85 degrees Celsius. This is where the clean flake technology is enabled with the adhesive being deactivated. The labels with density less than 1 will float to the water surface together with adhesive and ink, while the heavier PT flakes with density more than 1 will sink to the bottom. The PT flakes are then dry, any impurities or non PT materials are removed by air blow. The clean PT flakes may further go through an optional color separation before moving to next step for the application-specific recycling process. Now, let me also show you a test that we conducted in our lab simulating clean flat products during recycling process for your better understanding. First, the PT bottles with pressure-sensitive labels are cut into 1 cm square flakes. Next, 1% caustic solution is prepared by adding sodium hydroxide into hot water. The water temperature is kept around 85 degrees Celsius. The PT flakes are agitated in the water for 15 minutes until the labels separated from the PT flakes. When the separation is completed, you can see that the labels float to the top of the bath, leaving clean PT flakes free of any contamination at the bottom. Clean flake product meet the design guideline from the Association of Plastic Recyclers (APR) enabling true PET bottle-to-bottle -bottle recycling. Besides, it can also be recognized to comply with APR critical guidance protocol for HDP mobile metric recycling, which we will share more in our next series. To find out more info about clean flat solution and our journey towards circular economy, do visit our website online and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.